MCP sampling landed in Pydantic AI last week. Let's explain what it is and how to use it. So I actually talked about MCP sampling at AI Engineer a few weeks ago. This diagram kind of explains how it works. So when we make a call to an MCP server, that MCP server can make calls to an LLM instead of having to, but instead of having to make those calls directly, it can proxy them via the MCP client, which means you don't have to provision your servers with resort with LLM resources, etc. Instead, they can use the LLM available on the client. Let's have a look at what that looks like in Pydantic AI. So here we have a very simple example of an app using Pydantic AI. So we have a bit of, bit of code here to configure observability with Logfire. Then we have uh, an MCP server running over standard IO. This is gonna call the generate SVG uh, File, as I'll show you in a minute, we have our agent, which is going to use OpenAI 4.1, GPT 4.1. Uh, and then this is the core of our application where we're basically going to run our MCP servers and then make a request to the agent, uh, asking it to create an image of a robot uh, in a punk style that should be pink. The point here is that our generate SVG MCP server is going to register one tool with our agent, which is called uh, image generator. This in turn is gonna take care of converting a subject and a style into an SVG image. In particular, this is the clever bit here, where our agent, our Pylantic AI agent here, uses the model MCP sampling model, which has access to the MCP context and therefore can make an LLM call proxied through the client. Um, and then we're gonna, we'll save the image and return the path. Uh, notably, Pydantic AI automatically enable sampling. If it's run as a client, you can disable it if you want. Let's go and run this example and see what it looks like. So we see uh, the log start to print out and we come over here to Logfire. We can see requests ongoing, see our agent running. Uh, and when GPT-40 responds, as it has done now, we should be able to see exactly what happened. So you'll see here that we have uh, our outer agent run, uh, which called the tool as we would have expected. And then that returned uh, details of the image that's been generated. We can see pricing on this, but notably you see here, we have distributed tracing. So we see when we make the tool call, it goes uh, from the client into the server, then back to the client to make the call to GPT-40 um, and ultimately finished an output um, a summary of what happened and indeed we can go and have a look at the image that was generated. It's not great on this occasion but MCP sampling worked correctly.